Rubble coming to you live. I'm back. Left camera is recycling. Wanted to get down the road a little ways. Traffic going in and out of there gets hectic sometimes. Anyway, get my receipt out right here. Let me see what it says. Uh, took in an aluminum sheet all off of one job. Yeah, 105 bucks. Not bad. Part of recycling. You know, sometimes uh, customers will call us and say, well, hey, I've got a refrigerator or washer or dryer or anything and want us to come haul it off for free. And we can't do it because you you have to pay. We have to pay our employees. We have taxes. Here's a little insight on how, how companies run. I'll try to help people that, that really don't understand it because a lot of people just get up and go to work every day. So just think if I come out just say I come out to y'all's house for a minimum and it's $150 is our minimum so it's two guys coming out and just even in Pearland right here where I live it, it takes between 30 45 minutes to an hour just to get across Pearland that's one way so let's just say I, I only pay myself $10 an hour and I pay an employee $10 an hour so that's 20 bucks one way plus fuel plus time we're fully insured we have workman's comp we follow all the, the rules and regulations in Texas, so it's, it, it costs money. So then just say we're there for 15, 20 minutes, and then we drive back. So we'll say it's two and a, two and a half hours. And remember, that's at two employees, and that's fuel, wear and tear. I mean, whatever we had to move, whatever we had, you know, we could have carried it out of the garage, out of the backyard, whatever it is. So that's just one aspect of it. So then when the paperwork gets back to the office, it's a totally different scenario there. Because now you got to think there's someone at the office that I, I'm having to pay to do the paperwork, which is would, would be the secretary. And then I'm, I'm paying her to do it. Now, remember, she's working off a computer. We have Internet there. We have to have power. you got to have water. All these variables fall into place. So our minimum of $150 an hour really doesn't give us a whole lot. That's why usually when we fit those jobs in, we're fitting them in into a route. Because if we just go do one, we don't even make any money. All companies have a minimum of what they have to make. So just think about it, you know, If and, and this is for all of y'all out there listening, including myself, because I didn't know how this worked before I opened my own business. So if you're sitting there and you you sit at a desk every day or you work out in the field, doesn't matter what you're doing, and just say you make yourself 30, 40, 50, even $60,000 a year. And there's 30 of y'all in the field or in the office. The company has to almost make double that off of each one of y'all to even get close to breaking even and i and there's there's more to it it's it's can't explain it all the way out it's just you know it's too hard but like with myself i double i'm double taxed because i, I pay myself a paycheck and then i have to pay the government because i paid myself a paycheck because my my company has to match all the taxes that we pay in so all the taxes i pay all my employees I have to match that and pay it in. So now we'll go back to hauling the aluminum off. We might have made a little over $100 doing it. We probably, see on that job, I think it was a trailer, and then we used our small trailer to haul off the aluminum. So we probably charged them about 350 bucks, <coughs> which is fine. We did, you, you can say that the 100, the 100 what was $106 is a profit, but really it isn't, because I had to take a whole nother trailer, a whole nother truck, and now I've had to take, I don't know, total time now is about an hour, I believe, for me to go down to Cameron's Recycling, recycling and come back. So really, I didn't, I didn't make that much of a profit. So the myth of people hauling off scrap, you're going to get rich. You can get rich off doing it. Don't get me wrong. But you can't be a company and do it. There's, just, there's no way unless you are someone like Cameron's where they're getting paid top dollar on their end to also sell it. But... If I'm just going out with two or three employees and we're going out to pick up a refrigerator and you want me to do it free, it'll, it'll never happen because we go, even if we took that refrigerator all the way apart down the compressor, the wire, there's even aluminum inside of, if we broke it all the way down right now at this time, you might, man, if you're lucky, you might get $6 out of it. And, and that's about it. That's just the truth. Now I do have, uh, I've got a piece of paper here. I don't want to show you all because it's different pricing, but for different things i can just tell y'all for electric motors they pay 19 cents a pound so you got to think how many electric motors you got to have to even make any money for aluminum rims it's 45 cents a pound aluminum rims usually weigh about 10 pounds each it's according to how big they are but 
that'll tell you you're only going to make like $4 or something, something like that. Um, let's see. Well, here's one that everybody thinks is worth buku bucks is brass. It's $1.40 a pound. So let's think about that. If you had 100 pounds, what would you make? Uh, just stop. I don't know what 100, what would it be? 140 bucks, something like that. So 140 pounds of brass. Think how long it would take you to save up that much brass. Even if you were just an individual, just, you know, looking around your house, you needed to pay a bill or, or something like that. Or you're, you're in a plumbing company and you're taking faucets off. A faucet doesn't weigh that much. It doesn't weigh that much at all. So think how many, how many of those you would have to take off to come up with that much money. So I just figured I'd, I'd let y'all let y'all in a little bit on. We do recycle for a reason, and it's not just to have the profit; it's to recycle because that's just what you're supposed to do. But the other side of it is, I don't want people to think that I'm out here making and killing because I'm recycling. I'm doing it because it's the right thing, and that that little bit of profit that we make goes right back into the company. Which also, whenever we come out, we have uniforms, we have hats, we have shirts. The trucks are clean. We get new trailers. We buy new, like in the back buy new wheelbarrows we we have to pay for all that somehow so our profits go back into our company so when we do show up to your your house or business or whatever that we look professional so just all y'all just keep that in mind y'all have a good day and i will talk to you next time later